Good morning, everyone. Uh, my case uh, report is on uh, an infraorbital granuloma with uh, cororetinal atrophy due to ocular cysticercosis. An introduction. Ocular parasitic infections are considered significant cause of ocular pathologies worldwide. The parasitic etiological agent include mainly protozoa, helminths, and ectoparasite. Adult or larval stage of the parasite may reside in human ocular tissues externally or in the ocular globe. Ocular cysticercosis commonly seen in younger age group with no gender predilection. The parasite reaches the posterior segment of the eye via the high flow choroidal circulation through the short posterior ciliary arteries, the macular region being the thinnest and most vascularized, the larva lodges itself in the subretinal space from where it perforates and enters into the vitreous cavity. In this process, the parasite can cause a retinal detachment, macular hole, or inside an inflammatory response. Now, my case report. A 59-year-old uh, year female with the following presenting complaints in the right eye. Uh, her complaints were uh, recurrent painful periorbital swelling, lacrimation, and severe decreased vision. Uh, uh, only hand movement was present. The duration of the disease were about six months. Uh, the periorbital swelling had a waxing and waning course. On local examination, uh, the visual uh, equity was uh, finger counting close to face, periorbital swelling, and uh, acamosis was present. Narrowed palpable aperture. The palp uh, palpable mass was present in the infraorbital region. The nasolacrimal duct was uh, blocked. Uh, there was RAPD present. And anterior chamber was no reaction, but vitreous uh, shows mild vitritis. On fundus, uh, there was choreotinal atrophy with uh, pigmentary changes. There was multiple discrete subretinal whitish lesions. Uh, one grayish white, uh, uh, grayish white subretinal fibrous tissues, like uh, component extending from the optic disc, uh, was present and uh, the features suggestive of combined retinal detachment in the posterior pole with scar tissue formation. Uh, now, uh, UHG B scan was done and uh, there was an irregular thick walled uh, cystic lesion with uh, ill-defined internal floating contents in the infra infraorbital region. Orbital tissue edema was present, vitreous membrane was seen, and there was focal retinal detachment. On laboratory investigation, hemoglobin was and there was mild uh, eosin, uh, e uh, there was mild uh, eosinophilia was present and uh, there was ESR was high. From uh, going through the patient uh, history, demographic information, and fundus examination, and UAG B scan report, there was infraorbital mass with choreotinal atrophy with focal retinal detachment may be due to parasitic etiology is the presumptive diagnosis which yet to be confirmed by histopathological examination. Uh, treatment was, uh, the patient was uh, treated with uh, oral antibiotic, oral prednisolone, one milligram per kg body weight uh, for one week and then tapered off. The infraorbital region was explored and the thick wall cystic mass was excised. The follow-up was done uh, one monthly. The patient became asymptomatic but visual prognosis remains unsense at least uh, at uh, six months follow-up. The left eye BCBA was six by nine and absolutely normal. My histopathological uh, examination was uh, showed that uh, there was eosinophilic infiltration with uh, hooklets and circus, uh, suggestive of 60 sarcosis. Final diagnosis, an infraorbital granuloma with choreotinal atrophy due to ocular cysticercosis. Discussion, uh, cysticercosis is a preve preventable cause of blindness, uh, blindness uh, endemic in India, parasitic infection in caused by cysticercosis cellulosi, which is the larval form of tinea solium. Uh, the extracular muscle are the commonest type of orbital and adnexal cysticercosis. Superior rectus muscle is most commonly involved. Uh, diagnosis of orbital and adnexal cysticercosis is based on the clinical, serological, and radiological findings. Uh, systemic corticosteroids are used before and after surgical removal of the cysticercosis should be done. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, madam. Thank you.